Okay, everybody, so this is part two of us installing the foil mount, the new carbon foil mount plate. It's basically a very industrial strength 3M sticker. Uh, we're gonna install this plate onto the board like so, more or less, and then that will allow us to use this adapter here, and the foil will now sit on top like a plate mount. So that's that's the plan. So let's get into the instructions a little bit and see how to do this. The things that you're gonna need for this install are gonna be four of these alcohol pads. You're going to need a 3M Scotch-Brite pad, some soap and water, uh, the foil mount with the hardware attached as I've done here, a tape measure and some masking tape, which I have over here okay so this is all the tools you're going to need to do the install okay now it says it takes anywhere from 24 to 72 hours for this to cure once you've stuck it on so don't think that you can just put this thing on and then like go hop in the water okay you need to give it at least a day preferably up to three days to let it really adhere um, the first thing you want to do is just kind of figure out your placement now I have a total box here so I'm lucky in that I can, I kind of have an idea of where I want this thing to go um, based on the Tuttle box. I can line up the middle of the Tuttle box with the rail and then we're pretty good right about there. And then so once you know your placement and you're happy with your placement, then you can just kind of mask it off to make sure that you can hold that spot like that if something has to shift. Okay, so we'll do this other side. And then we'll do something for the bottom and something for the top. And then, well, my amazing cameraman, camera woman is giving you a close-up on this, I'm gonna grab a tape measure and make sure that we're good to go. All right, so if we pull this off here, that's kind of where we're wanting. And I'm just gonna double check everything one more time. You know, one thing just right off the bat that foil mount could do is they could, and I guess they've done it on the back, they could give you a line for the center. It looks like they actually have done that. I didn't notice that before. So I can just make sure I place the, that onto the stringer and that, now I'm totally lined up perfect. Just like that. So again, if you wanna see it, there's your center line for your stringer. So you just line it up like that. And like that. Okay, next. You wanna clean the surface with soap and water to get any debris off of it. I already did that, so we're gonna skip that part. And then we're gonna take our Scotch-Brite pad, which is this, and we're just gonna lightly kind of rough up the area a little bit just to give it some teeth so that the adhesive has something to bite onto. If you don't do this step, it may or may not stick. So make sure you rough it up. Give it something to hang on to because now the glass job is basically the structural integrity of your mount. So I'm putting a lot of faith in the glass job, but the guys from Foil Mount have seen a bunch of these Kalama boards. They put a bunch of these mounts on the Kalama boards. And they said that Dave does such a good job with his workmanship that it hasn't been a problem and it, and it works quite well. So we'll see if that's actually the truth. Um, I kind of like doing stuff like this, trying like kind of um, newer products. I like that people are, are testing the limits and trying new things. And, and I'm willing to support a company like that who's doing something like that. All right. And then, what you want to do is take your alcohol pads and clean off because when I use the Scotch Brite, I just got a bunch of dust on 
onto the board. So you take the alcohol pad and you just clean it. And that not only will clean it, but it, it because it's alcohol, it dries very quickly. So we don't have to wait for it to dry. Let me do one more. Just make sure it's nice and clean. So we have been having just some awesome sessions out at San O uh, in Southern California lately, and I'm heading back there this weekend, um, and I'm going to try this out. So if you guys are around this weekend, I'll be at San O Saturday morning uh, when the gate opens to try out this mount. Okay. We have cleaned and prepared the surface of the board. Um, next, we're gonna mount the mount to the board and then we're gonna apply, apply pressure to it. And then after that, we're gonna just wait for 24 hours. Now, one of the extra things I purchased were these 3M primer sticks. And um, we are gonna use this to kind of prime the area. And I've never used one of these before, so we're gonna see how it goes. I don't even know how to open this. 3M Industrial Adhesive and Tape Division. It's provided on the outside of the packaging. Crush at dot. Oh, something happened. So it says crush it dot, there's a little dot here. And I think that, oh, once you crush it, then you can kind of paint with it like this. Got it. Okay, so let me just paint the surface. We've got two of these. So we got plenty of room. And this is a primer to help your adhesive stick. Which is important because again, this whole system relies on this 3M adhesive. And if the, the, the adhesive doesn't stick to the board, then your foil in the, isn't gonna stick to your board either. So I talked to the guys at Foil Mount. I said, hey, what's the chances that this is gonna work? And they gave me a 100% chance. There's the next one. Ooh, and my fingers are all tacky now. Feels like a glue almost. And we'll get this nice and clean. Now I'm sure that, you know, if you have experience with this product, these little sticks, I might be doing this wrong. I've never done this before. I'm not an expert at it. I don't claim to be. That's why I do these videos is so you guys can see what like a total like beginner would do. So, okay, we are primed. So the board has been sanded with a scotch Sprite pad. We have cleaned it off, got all the dust gone with the 3M um, wipes. We've used the 3M primer to prime the area and now we are ready to actually do this. This is the moment of truth. This is where I either make my board super awesome or I'm going to uh, cause a very expensive repair to be needed. So here we go. Wish me luck. It looks like, as you can see here, there's these lines. It looks like the tape comes off in sections, not in one big piece. So this could take me a second to get all this off. So there's the first big chunk. Second chunk, I'm gonna try to not get my hands all over it. Try being the optimal word. Here's that piece. And last but not least, this piece. Now, this plate is symmetrical. There's not a front or a back. So you don't have to worry. That's one less thing you have to worry about. So the important thing for me right now is gonna get this to line up on the stringer. So I'm looking in the front here. I'm looking at this gap and I'm placing that gap on the stringer, but I'm not gonna set the entire thing down yet. 
I want to make sure it's dead on. Okay, so now that I've got that, now I want to do the same thing on this side. Really make sure that that is right onto that. And I'm going to move this tape because I don't want it to stick underneath my board. Okay, one more check. I'm right on the stringer in the back, right on the stringer on the front. And now I'm going to apply pressure. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you install the foil mount. Even my dog is super excited about it. Um, the last thing I'm going to do, I'll do this off camera, is I'm going to put this board on the ground and I'm going to step on this plate a bunch of times just to make sure that it's locked down. But I want to show you, so now that it's on, you just loosen up these bolts like this and I can use, with my GoPro adapter, I can now still use a Tuttle mast on this board, um, but now I have the ability to slide the mast front and back and really kind of get some angles on this thing that maybe I hadn't before. So that is the system. You can see here I have now the ability to move about three inches forward or aft. I also now taking the foil on and off is gonna be a whole lot easier because I don't have to flip the board over, undo the screws, flip the board over, take the thing out. It's all just done here. So anyway, that's it. Pretty low profile. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you're out, uh, if you live in Southern California, come join me this Saturday and uh, we'll see how this thing works. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you out on the water. Bye.